All right, I kind of hear the red one because I saw that I got super confused and I was like, "What the fuck is this?" And I saw it's like, it's like Twitter, and I was like, "Oh, did it, it's just Instagram doing, or Facebook Meta doing Meta shit?" Basically, Mark Zuckerberg launched Threads, and within 24 hours, has gotten over 30 million signups. Damn. Let me put this into perspective for you, real quick, of what that actually means. So. In order for there, there was this one post that a Instagram channel called Earn Your Leisure posted about how long it took for different platforms to get the first 10 million users. So Threads, it took them seven hours. Google Plus took 16 days. Chat GBT took 40 days. Clubhouse took 347 days. Then it also includes things like Instagram, Twitter, Facebook, but basically the rest of them, they took a long time. So in in the speed at which people signed up for this was pretty quick. Fuck. So why now, are you so giddy about this? Like why are you why is it why is this a personal attachment for you? Well, it's a personal attachment because the last time we saw something like this was Clubhouse. Oh, scars. Baby scars. And so <laughs> scars. my first oh, no, it's okay. It's okay. You give a hug. I mean, it was only like two years <laughs> of my life. Like one and a half. Okay, continue. There's a really good comparison that I saw posted on Instagram about how this really compares. The, the first thing everyone comes out is, is this going to kill Twitter or not? And it's always back to the zero-sum game. And a lot of the times, that's not the case when it comes to anything. There could be two players in any market. You have Lyft and Uber. You have DoorDash and Grubhub. You have Microsoft and Apple, right? There's all these different players. So the post had this picture comparing Twitter is Uber, Lyft is Threads. My you first question is more elegant. At first, Uber was the elegant one type of thing. That's the comparison. I mean, have you been on Twitter? No, you're the Twitter person in this. Yeah, relationship. it's just tech bros. <laughs> That's all it is. So there's a reason why a lot of people go. don't want to go into that because to the all they talk about is that. No, what are you talking about? It's great stuff, you know? Dogecoin all day, every day. But where's Game everybody stop. else go? Where does everybody else go? I don't know. Twitter. I think a, it could be threads. Twitter is a weird place. I don't, I'm scared to use. So have you downloaded it yet? Threads? No. Why not? Since I don't use Twitter and it's similar to Twitter, why do I need to use threads? Because I don't really use it. I Aren't don't... you even curious with everyone reposting that they've made one? No, I'm not. I'm, I was curious of the app itself, but not curious on, ooh, let me like dive into it. I started diving into it mostly because this morning all of my newsletter digests were highlighting how fast it's grown. And the curiosity to me was, okay, I need to check this out. And because I don't have any of these apps on my phone and I don't remember any of my passwords unless it's through one of those password managers, I re-downloaded Twitter. I re-downloaded Instagram, but because I log into my Instagram through Facebook, I had to re-download Facebook <laughs> to then log into my Instagram because you need the Instagram login to get into threads. And by the time that I got to the point of where I was about to create and connect the thread account is when I then read that there's issues deleting your account on threads. So if you create a threads account and you connect your Instagram to it, the only way to get rid of your Threads account is to delete your Instagram account. Oh, snap. So that was a hard press stop for me because... You didn't need to... You know, I don't... Yeah. It's 10 plus years on that Instagram account. I can't just delete it. Why not? Sometimes it's it's just letting it burn is probably the most freeing thing, you know? Delete your page and then we can talk. Tell me how free you feel. Hey, get your button, get your uh, finger off the delete button off my page, okay, please? <laughs> that is not welcome. Please please don't even put that in the universe. How dare you? So you have no interest in uh, in threads? No. But speaking about social media, I had this weird urge of actually not really caring about social media, but caring about publishing my timeline of life for my personal use. Go back to my photos and like archive everything, restart, put like, my first European trip or like my, even like fraternity pictures, college and just slowly just built, rebuild my own personal gallery for myself because I look back and I'm like, dude, I can't even go on my phone app and find the pictures that I want or my highlight reel of that event. I'm like, 
fuck. So yeah, that's a little weird little tangent. I'm not sure that that sparked anything, but that was just you saying about Instagram kind of reminded me that's like a summer project I wanted to get done. I know some people use Be Real in that way. One of the features really? of Be Real allows you to go back and see what you posted on that day to then know what you were doing that day. You lose a little bit of specifically what you were doing if you know the notification comes and you just happen to be in your bedroom and you weren't out You're not doing, doing something yet. There was that's a, a that's just a weird one, dude. That was that was oh, it's hard to win in social media. So that that fell off too. It was like, oh, be real. And then two months later it was done. No one would say it. they would get a notification, turn it off, and just go back to the daily life. Makes me curious. Be real user graph. I think the hype of talking about it has definitely chilled. Taking a look of their mouse. Okay, they're cooling off a little bit, but they're still doing pretty good. I'm looking at the business what's pretty of apps. Good? What what's pretty what's pretty good? millions i think this is millions so august 2022 they had 73 million monthly active users which was their peak february 2023 47 million so there was a drop off of around 30 million people march 2023 33 million so they are a little bit on drop down on their decline yeah i don't know all these new social media ones longevity just didn't seem real what was if they it? have enough Again. funding they have 30 million dollars in funding in 2021 and another 60 in 2022 they keep their burn rate down they can keep building that app with a decent user base for a while what i'm thinking of really is we all thought snap died oh yeah then, but they, then they, they went public pivoted and repivoted so i haven't dug into it but they pivoted somewhere in new. What was their niche? I have to no keep idea. them alive because still people still use like, hey, what's your snap? I'm like, what? That's a oh, thing. absolutely. People still use the app. I have no That's idea right. what. I have no idea what their feature set is anymore, but they're doing okay. They're doing okay. It's better than most. I think it's still doing better than Twitter at the moment. I think Threads actually has a good shot of doing something. In what way? It's a simplified app, similar to Twitter. A lot of people don't go onto Twitter because the community isn't there. If it's a water, this, it's a cool, it's a water cooler station, pretty much. So if there's a water cooler for people that don't want to go to Twitter, they might want to go to Threads. They can coexist where they wouldn't have overlapped anyways in that short form medium, anyways. Yeah, and it brings a very different dynamic to Instagram itself because it's still under the Instagram hood, not directly underneath the, the meta hood, the meta hood. And so Instagram now has, they were photographed first, photography first, then they moved to video. This is like their text layer that they can add to that larger portfolio because that platform didn't really have a very text heavy you, area. Do you think it can evolve into another discord with that kind of would that be a possibility? Thinking, just thinking out of the box, infrastructure wise. I know you didn't go in a hard in on it, but if it kind of is, will that will that open the door of building on top of threads? Maybe. I think I think that could be the natural progression is to You have you already have the infrastructure from Facebook with groups. You already can create the small little communities. You have the text base with Instagram. Or and with threads, it, I mean. So so they have the backend infrastructure to share messaging. Remember when they rolled up Messenger and Instagram and everything together on the back end? Logins, all the same logins. Content sharing. You can be on one app and receive the content on another app. So the ecosystem is separated on the front end because they're each individual apps, but the back end all connects. Yeah. And possibilities well what i love okay not love about instagram but the convenience of instagram in itself was i don't have to use snapchat it, it just they're really good at consolidating their users instead of oh we're going to use two separate apps or the two different functions like functions even for reels versus tiktoks tiktok is still the algorithms better user friendly i think it is but it's just convenient for me to use one app on instagram versus use two 
or you could have one or the other and still be able to engage with the content. Yeah. So one thing that impressed me a lot, I just sent you a post that Mark Zuckerberg had shared. At use.net. Whoa. Maybe that that's is- a alluding to like threads.network. I don't know. So here's some things that I really, really like about their web-based aspect of everything. So to engage with threads itself, you have to download the app. So it's kind of gated behind the application download, but the content is shareable to those that don't have the app, right? Like we could view the entire conversation, Mm -hmm. everything that's going on without that app being forced upon us to download. It's like partying in a glass house. Yeah, we get to lurk. Yeah, we get get to lurk, but to be inside the house and having a grand old time. Get to be in it. And there's like small things on this page. So like right below his comment, get the app to like, reply, and post. So there's the call to action to download. There's the QR code on the bottom right-hand corner of it. Also another call to action to download. So there's entry points to download the app. This is one area that we lagged at Clubhouse was the web experience to help individuals stay connected when you don't have the app. Yeah. Very similar to Reddit. You don't have an account, but you can still lurk on all the threads. The key piece is the ability to lurk. People love to lurk. Engagement, I think, is a different behavior to the point of where you're like liking, commenting, or participating, whether that's written word or verbally engaging in a conversation. Most, uh, Most of the time, I never go on stage inside of a Twitter space, but I'll lurk if there's something kind of interesting going on. (laughs) 